Hello and welcome to the Gothic Unicorn and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a little chalice like this one here on my witch's altar table. Now to make the chalice we're going to need three things. We're going to need some cardstock. I'm using cereal box cardstock again. Love recycling, what can I say? Some packaging that tablets come in, little pills. These are just small and rounded. And bugle beads. Now bugle beads are the long, thin, hope you can see that, beads. And these have got a little twist in them which just adds a nice detail to the final piece. Now I've started by punching out some little circles from the cardstock using my trusty hole punches and these are the actual sizes of the holes. Um, I'm not sure what size they are, I will measure it up and I'll put it in the description box. But these are the, so useful and although they're supposed to be for making the holes, obviously I use the bits they punch out more often than not. Now, what we now do is stick the pieces together. Now I'm sticking um, the fancily coloured pieces, the actual cereal box, together and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on with my cocktail stick, put the other one on the top and then sort of squidge it together. You squidge it together and sort of, you have to manipulate it a bit so it gets into the right place but you get a little sandwich of cardstock and then taking the smaller one again I'm going to add a little tiny piece tiny piece a little tiny bit of glue onto there and then just stick that on the top so I've basically got a little pile now that won't actually take long to dry but just in case I have another one that I prepared earlier. Now what we need is we need the bugle beads. Now I'm afraid these are really small and they are really um, awkward and we're going to need to cut out the um, bubbles from the medicine packaging. Now I've already done this because again it is fiddly and you will find that it isn't perfect the first time and you have to go and trim it and really you did not need to be seeing me doing that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the bugle beads and I'm going to put a drop of my tacky glue on the top of there and then I'm going to stick it straight to the end of the, or the, the medicine container. I never know quite what to call these and hopefully this, I'm still in camera and repeat on the other one. This tacky glue is really really good but that is the basis of my chalices. Now, I've given these a moment to dry and I am going to repeat the process. Put a little tiny bit of glue on the end of the bugle bead and then attach it to the smaller of the circles. And of course that one I picked up and it hasn't glued yet. There. Now you need to give your glue a little bit of time to go off but then what we're going to do is we're going to put a spot more glue on the other end of the bugle bead and we are very carefully and this is where I prove I've got total sausage fingers we're going to pop that onto the small 
cardboard circle that we prepared before. Now I've already done the other one and then something went wrong but we won't talk about that. But there we have the basic chalice shape. Now obviously at the moment it doesn't look very attractive which is why the next step is paint. Now I use various metallic paints in my um, pieces but I'm going to replicate the look that I did on the one that I showed you at the beginning and for that I used a black paint followed by a metallic silver paint. Now metallic paints always need an undercoat quite often of a similar colour but I like using black underneath the silver because then you can get that sort of tarnished look without too much work. I have given the chalices some drying time because they really do need time for the glue to set. And I've also given them some paint. Um, as I said, a coat of black followed by a coat of metallic silver. Now this one I haven't quite finished and I am having trouble and it is literally a fine brush and a small amount of paint and that one is being a bit of a dum-dum the glue hasn't set properly it happens the amount of times that I stick things and re-stick things these pieces are because they are so delicate really only suitable for being stuck in place and left there but okay, I'll put the glue on and I'll put that one next to the other one push down now what I'm thinking with that one is that I'm going to add a little bit of something extra and what I've got here which I've just got all over the table is some pearl effects it's a 3d paint and the ubiquitous cocktail stick and what I'm going to do, hopefully I'm in a good place for you to see, is I am just going to add a small amount. So it looks like a gemstone. Now obviously that is going to take time to dry and I will probably add some more around the thing but I'm now going to clean up the paint. The good news is I found the tweezers so what I can do is hopefully bring these so you can see them a bit better. Now you can get that coloured stuff 3D paint in all different colours and um, I got some red as well so I've added some red to that one and then of course I finish off the purple on there. Now I don't know where these are going to go but no doubt I will find a home for them somewhere in one of my projects. But hopefully it's given you an idea of how you can turn some trash, because that's what it was, into something that will make a nice little filler for one of your miniature scenes. So until next time, bye.